In the last four episodes, we've explored the difference between growth and fixed mindsets and seen how they apply to athletics, business, and relationships. Today, we'll learn some techniques to help the people in our lives make the shift from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. What do you hear when you listen to the following messages about success? You learn that so quickly. You're so smart. Or, look at that drawing. Is this child the next Picasso or what? And, you're so brilliant. You got an A without even studying. Most people find that these messages are supportive, the kind of messages that boost self-esteem. But people who receive these messages often hear something else. If I don't learn something quickly, I'm not smart. Or I shouldn't try drawing anything hard or they'll see I'm no Picasso. Or I better quit studying or they won't think I'm brilliant. People who say those original three phrases have good intentions. They're trying to encourage confidence and achievement. But as we've learned over the last few episodes, an obsession with intelligence and talent is a trait of the fixed mindset. Harping on intelligence and talent just encourages this obsession. People love to be praised for their intelligence and their talent. It does give a boost to hear such praise, but such a boost is only temporary. As soon as they are challenged again, the confidence and motivation that came from this fixed mindset praise will disappear. People think that by praising intelligence and talent, they are handing the praised person permanent confidence, but it doesn't work that way. And in fact, has the opposite effect. If anything goes wrong or becomes hard, the praise recipients will start to doubt themselves. What the praiser could do instead is teach the praise recipients to love challenge, effort, and learning, and see mistakes as opportunities to learn. Does this mean offering no praise at all? No. What it means is that we should avoid giving a certain kind of praise. Praise for intelligence or talent. Instead, we can give praise for hard work and we can ask them about their work in a way that shows we admire and appreciate the effort they're making. You can say things like, that homework was so long and involved. I admire the way you concentrated and finished it. Or, you put so much thought into your essay, it made me understand the subject in a whole new way. The same idea applies when they fail at something. If they worked hard and didn't do well, you can say, I like the effort you put in. Let's work together to figure out what you didn't understand. If you're trying to encourage a growth mindset in someone, you also have to be careful about how you talk about others in front of them. Your focus on giving only growth-oriented praise can be undone if you speak of others with phrases like, that person's a genius, or those people are idiots. What about reassuring someone before a big test or performance? Reassuring them about their intelligence or talent backfires. You make them even more afraid to fail. Instead of saying, I know you're smart and you'll do fine on tomorrow's test, you could say, I care about your learning and I know you've worked hard to learn the material. I'm proud you kept at it. So, say you've done all the right things. You've praised effort instead of talent. You've watched what you say about others. Signs of the growth mindset are showing up. Then, fixed mindset thinking reappears. Maybe even in yourself. According to Dweck, this is normal. Changing to a growth mindset isn't like having your hip surgically replaced. Old beliefs aren't removed and replaced with better ones. They coexist with the new beliefs, and over time, the new beliefs become stronger and influence the way you think, feel, and act. Don't expect a change to a growth mindset to be easy. The fixed mindset can be hard to let go of. When people hold on to a fixed mindset, there's often a good reason. It may have served a purpose earlier in their lives. It may have told them 
who they were or what they wanted to be and how to become that. It may have provided them with a formula for self-esteem and the respect of others. The fixed mindset is often a simple, straightforward route to being valued and loved. Finally, mindset change is not about picking up a few pointers. It is about seeing things in a whole new way. It is about changing frameworks from a judge and be judged framework to a learn and help learn framework. This kind of growth takes time, effort, and mutual support. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you don't miss an episode.